Hey everyone, my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is another day by day in the life video. Today is Sunday, so it's the last day by day in the life video where I've been sharing with you what I do each day of the week. So if you're new or you've missed somehow these other videos, I have one for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, which I will link the full playlist below if you're interested in watching the other days. But today, since it's Sunday, is gonna be a little bit slower. I don't have a ton of scheduled things to do today. I have a few cleaning items that I need to do, like usual. Owen, our baby got up this morning like a little after seven it's now 8 14 so i already made my coffee here in my little sophisticated mug i haven't had breakfast yet jim is just changing owen and we're probably gonna get him down for a nap in a little bit and then i am going to make myself some breakfast and i will keep checking in with you throughout the day and share with you everything we're doing today Okay, so I am making myself a little egg scramble and I'm making a smoothie for Jim and then I'll have whatever extra that he doesn't have. I'm using one of these frozen packets from Costco so I can get it open with some other tropical fruit and a banana. And then I'm probably gonna do like water, a little chia seed, and maybe some oat milk, almond milk, plant milk of some sort. Not sure what I have in the fridge. And we will blend that up. Owen still has not had his first nap and it is 8.25. So I'm gonna keep this stuff going and we're gonna have some breakfast. All right. Okay, so it's 10 o'clock now. Owen took his first nap. Not long after we started breakfast, he woke up, we fed him, and now we're starting with some random house tasks for the day. As you can see, Jim is back there and he is working on getting the baby monitor set up a little bit better. We just had it sitting on the side of the crib and we're trying to get it mounted. So Owen and I are playing on the floor and I'm gonna help Jim get it all set up.
It is now 10.50. Owen had a little bit of an outfit change. We got the baby monitor installed. And I'm gonna get started on some of the cleaning tasks until it's time for him to take a nap again. So today on Sundays, I like to wash our sheets. So we need to strip the bed and get those in the washing machine, don't we? And then in terms of the rooms that I focus on on Sundays, I like to clean our bedroom as well and our mudroom. So I'm gonna focus on those two rooms today. And then if you know, I separate out the floors, which is kind of unique. Uh-oh, we dropped our lammy. We dropped our lammy. So if you haven't watched my cleaning routine video, I created this whole cleaning schedule and I like to separate out the floors from the different rooms. That way when I bring out the vacuum or a mop or something, I can do multiple rooms at a time. So today I'm also gonna do all of our upstairs carpets. So I'm gonna start by stripping the sheets and we'll see how much we can get done. It is now 11.22 and Owen just fell asleep. I was putting away some of the dishes while baby wearing him and he passed out, so that's awesome. We got those sheets in the wash and I cleaned up the mudroom. So I'm gonna spend some time in the kitchen here while Jim is outside mowing and I'm going to put away the dirty dishes from this morning, maybe start to do a little meal prepping. I also like to meal plan on Sundays. So he tends to sleep for hopefully a while. It can be hit and miss these days, but sometimes he can sleep up to like an hour and 45 minutes in here. Sometimes it can be 30, so we're gonna do as much as we can, and I'm probably gonna spend most of it in the kitchen. I'm probably gonna also pop up my iPad and catch up on a TV show while he sleeps and enjoy some me time at the same time.
It's about 12.15, I got a few good meals prepped. I have dinner prepped for tonight. I think we're gonna have that couscous salad that I made. And then I have a marinade for a curry yogurt chicken all prepped. I pulled the chicken out of the freezer, so that's not thawed out yet. But I'm gonna cut that up. I'm going to add some chicken to the couscous salad for dinner. And then the other, the rest of the chicken, I guess, I'm gonna chop up and put in the marinade overnight. And we'll have that probably for dinner tomorrow. Lunch for tomorrow will be a leftover of the couscous salad. And let's see, since Jim is almost done mowing, we're gonna sit down and have some lunch and pull out a bunch of random leftovers we have in the fridge so we can just kind of clear things out and start fresh for the week ahead. So I need to clean up the kitchen a little bit while he finishes with mowing and pull all that stuff out and we're gonna sit down. Well, hopefully this guy sleeps just a little bit longer, but he's been sleeping for over an hour, so that's pretty good in my book. It is now 1.36 and I am obviously in the gym. Jim, my husband, has Owen for a while and I am going to get a run in. It looks like on my app that I've been using, I have a 20 minute run today, a five minute warm up, and a five minute cool down. So I have my iPad, I'm gonna keep watching and catching up on some shows while I get my run in and then head that up, back up and hang out with the boys. Okay, so I just finished up my run. I'm cooling down with a walk. I'm sure you can tell, nice and sweaty. I have, let's see, just over three minutes left in my cool down. And I just wanted to chat a little bit while I'm walking. I feel like the weekends are just really obviously less structured and with a, I guess he's not even a newborn, but with a baby, we kind of live and die by the nap and I try and get stuff done while I was napping or Jim and I just really alternate and tag team. So I had no way while Jim was out and going on. I'm now working out and Jim has him. And we just kind of like flip flop. But in the mornings we like to spend time together usually, like all as a family, um, except for letting each other get ready a little bit. But I do feel like I get a little bit stressed out sometimes when it gets to this point in the day. So. It's just after two o'clock and I feel like so much of the day has gone by and I haven't finished a lot of what I want to do and that's something I'm working on is just letting go of things and not trying to force myself to do everything if it's going to just increase my stress as opposed to helping me. So thinking about something like meal prepping. The point of meal prepping is to make my life easier. If I can't get all of the meal prepping done that I wanted to get done on Sunday, and it's gonna make me stay up till midnight or strain my relationship with Jim by trying to pass off Chloe more or my relationship with Owen not spending the time that I would spend with him because I'm meal prepping or vacuuming or whatever it is, it's not worth it. And that's, again, something I'm working on and working on just letting go of the productivity sometimes. I think it's great to be as productive as possible. If you've watched any of my videos and you know me at all, and follow me, you know that I try and maximize my time. But I also am really striving to find that time to relax, take care of myself, because even once I was cleared to start exercising postpartum, I didn't feel like I had time to work out until we had our nanny during the week. And during the week, I'm really, really good about using that time to exercise because it feels like the only time I can. But I'm now trying to carve out a little bit of time on the weekends to alternate with gyms so we can each exercise and take time for ourselves. And I think it's really helping a lot in making just everything feel a little bit less stressful. So I just wanted to say that and that you know, it's not always about being productive all the time and doing absolutely everything on your to-do list because that's not always realistic 
for you. It's not always realistic for me. So you just gotta let it go sometimes. And you know, with it being after two o'clock, I don't know what the rest of the, the day holds, and I don't know how much I can get done. But I'm just gonna keep going and see how much I can do, and still relax at the same time. So I just tried for a long time. I have five seconds left. <laughs> So I am going to stop my workout and head back upstairs and see the boys. So I just had a little bit of a snack. Jim is putting Owen down for a nap and I'm gonna work on packing some orders, do a little bit more cleaning if I can, and probably some work on my computer a little bit. So just gonna hang out in my office for a moment and then pop out and get some cleaning done. Okay, so it's now 4.07. We are going to go for a family walk. Jim's just tying his shoes. I got Owen all strapped in here. Are you ready to go, bud? <laughs> yeah, he loves going on walks around the neighborhood. It's a very nice day out. It's actually not too hot today, which will be great. And this will get him to his last nap of the day. He'll nap and Jim and I will have dinner together and then we'll hang out with him a little bit more, maybe bath time tonight, and then put you to bed. Yeah, are you so excited? Are you so excited, bud? Oh, he's, he's just gonna chew on his straps, but the second Jim gets out here, we're gonna go for a nice long walk, probably like 30 or 40 minutes. We have a little loop that we like to take, so it'll be really nice. It's just now five o'clock and we got back from our walk. I watered all of our plants outside. I don't know if you can hear, I have the first batch of chicken cooking on the stove top here. I just mirrored some of the flavoring that was in the salad. So I used that Moroccan spice blend, Moroccan inspired seasoning that I got from Target and added a little bit of garlic powder, salt and pepper. And I'm starting to chop up the rest of the chicken and I'm gonna put those chicken breasts into the yogurt marinade that I have in the fridge. So I'm getting that going and Jim is changing Owen and we're gonna get him down for another little nap here before bed. And Jim and I will be able to enjoy dinner together, which will be really nice.
It is 7.09 and Jim is outside playing basketball with the neighborhood little boys. They love him and they love playing basketball with him and I think Jim secretly likes it too. And he has Owen out there sitting in the stroller watching the boys play, which for some reason Owen is mesmerized by it. Gives me a little bit more time so I just wanted to finish cleaning up the bedroom. We haven't put the sheets on yet, but when we put Owen to bed, we will do that. And then we'll have some time alone, just the two of us to hang out. I think I got most of what I wanted to get done today. Today, it was just kind of scattered and that's how the weekends work. We were planning on running a few errands, didn't do that today, that's okay. When Owen goes to sleep, I might do a few other things that I like to do. Like I might make us a little special treat or something, like a little healthy dessert. Um, we might relax on the couch, not really sure yet. I'll see once Jim gets inside and once we get Owen down to bed and bathed and all of that stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this series if you watched the whole thing. If you didn't watch the whole thing and you liked today's video and you wanna see more, especially like my weekday routine, it's different of course from what I do on the weekends, make sure to check that playlist below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel for more. And until next time, I will see you guys later.